Now you guys are gonna think I'm a complete hype beast for putting this shoe at number three, but I honestly don't care. Hey, first things first, when I pop, I'ma get your hoe thirsty. I sign my paycheck in cursive, unworthy. Kids in the fifth, always talking about my fashion. I tell her, watch her toe, baby keen ain't no virgin. Had a prayer to forget all my enemies, so if you stare at me, tell me your name. You know what, bang in that kitchen again. If she mad, then I'm taking a frame. Got a couple goose day in the lane, and they will just touch you wherever you stand. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Zay here back with another video. Today what we're getting into is my top 10 sneakers of all time. So pretty much if I had to only choose 10 sneakers that I had to wear for the rest of my life, this is what this list consists of. Alright, number 10. The sneaker we're going to go with is going to be the Air Max 1. Um, the Air Max 1 is one of my favorite silhouettes when it comes to sneakers in general. So honestly, it's like breaking down the exact colorway that I would like to wear for the rest of my life was a very hard choice. Um, but honestly, I narrowed it all the way down to the anniversary um, Air Max 1s in red. Um, I would either go with the blue or the red, but I'm just a fan of red. Um, those like type of accents, like red accents are like my favorite. So I love Canon, so I love Joby, so I love a lot of the things that I like. Those red accents really make a big difference for me. Um, so I would yeah, definitely go with the Anniversary Air Max 1s in red colorway. I could wear those, I would say, for the rest of my life with no complaints. As long as I get a brand new pair, I would not mind doing that. Um, but yes, that's the first sneaker at number 10, the Air Max 1 Anniversaries in red. So number 9 is going to be the only designer sneaker that we have on the entire list. Everything else is going to be like streetwear sneakers. Um, but this is going to be the Balenciaga Race Run. Runners. Yes, this shoe, you guys can judge me all you want, you can say whatever you want, but this is one of my favorite silhouettes for shoes as well. I love the design of the shoe overall, it's very sleek, it's very thin, and on feet it looks very nice with most of most outfits. Um, it's very thin and lightweight, um, it's just a very comfortable shoe and a very stylish shoe. If I had to pick a colorway since they don't really go by names, I would go, by, I would go with the, the all black. Um, with the white midsole with the red accent. I think that design was a great design. The red makes it pop. I'm a big fan of red, like I said, with the last shoe. But yeah, I would definitely go with the Balenciaga Race Runners in that in that black, white, and red colorway. Um, I feel like it would be great. It would be a standout piece for an all-black outfit. It would be a standout piece for a white, black bottom outfit or even a, a white bottom, black top, or white, white, and then still have the shoes on bottom. Overall, I feel like you can mix and match with that shoe very well, and then you can also, you know, wear more high-end clothing with that shoe as well so you guys can judge me I honestly don't think that the triple S's are as clean as what those Balenciaga race runners were like that was my favorite design from Balenciaga by far number eight we're gonna have the Air Jordan 4 breads all right so I, I think that the bread fours are one of the nicest you know colorways when it comes to all of Jordan's shoes um that black and red I just love it you know what I'm saying or the all black look but the bread fours is definitely a standout number for me when it comes to all of his retro designs and number four is like really one of my favorite designs in general but if I had to pick a colorway that I couldn't go without it would have to be the bread fours just that nice new buck I know like in the, in the past they had him in suede I believe now in, in the newer models they're changing the materials a little bit so like that nice black you know suede or new buck for that Jordan 4 definitely be like my go-to you know you can't you can't go wrong with that suede and then just the design with the netting on the side is just a full circle shoe it looks great with shorts it also looks great with jeans it's just a shoe that overall complements most of your outfits it looks amazing with gray I would definitely say that Jordan 4 is one of my favorite shoes of all time and that's just a shoe that I know I would not be able to go without all right for number seven we're gonna go with the all white Air Force Ones, but we're gonna go with the Supreme Edition. Only reason why I went with the Supreme Edition is because they're still all white ones, just with the Supreme logo on the side. Not a big difference, but it does give that red accent that you guys so far can tell I love. Air Force Ones is a staple in everyone's closet at some point in their life. Um, and there's a reason why that shoe just looks so clean with shorts, with jeans, um, in any season or weather. You can always just wear some nice cocaine white Air Force Ones and it's going to complement any outfit. With this shoe, I would like to change it out a bit because, you know, after those creases hit, it's kind of like you got to knock them. But overall that 
cocaine white Air Force One is just something you can't leave out of your closet. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, number six on our list is gonna be the Como de Garcon Chuck. Taylor's in black. I love that shoe. I don't really care for all of Converse colorways too much, but if I were if I but if I were to choose a shoe that I would like to wear on a daily basis or just some throw on sneaks, it would definitely be the CDG Chuck Taylor's. It's just a clean shoe. You can't beat a Chuck Taylor. That's something that you're gonna always have in your closet at some point throughout your life. And if I had to pick a specific design from them, it would definitely be the collab with Como de Garcon. Of course, that accent of that red heart on the shoe makes the shoe pop a little bit more to me and stand out on feet, so it would definitely have to be the CDG Chuck Taylors for number six. All right, here at number five, we're gonna go with the Air Jordan Retro Sixes in the infrared colorway. It is my, is one of my favorite shoes, man. It just looks so good on feet feet man just the way that the design is created for the Jordan 6 is amazing to me it just sits really well with like some stacked jeans the air bubble in the Jordan 6 does a lot for the shoe as well it gives you a little bit more height when you're wearing them it adds a little bit of comfort to the shoe it adds this like arch like look to your foot um that girls kind of get when they wear heels which is not not too high bent up but it gives this like really sleek look it, it, it really does help as an accent piece for your entire outfit or as a standout piece depending on what you're wearing. It's like one of my favorite, the Jordan 6 is one of my favorite shoes on feet. Like just the way it's designed is, is uh, immaculate to me. Number four is gonna have to be the Freddy Krueger SBs, man. Those shoes are like my personal SB of choice. Like that shoe is something that I've wanted since I was like in middle school. I remember when it, when they first came out and it was like a limited pair of them. Right now, they're going on StockX for about $75,000. Um, it's, it's a very rare shoe. It means a lot to me. The reason why I would choose that SB over any other SB is because Freddy Krueger played a very big part in my life growing up. I used to be terrified of him. My older cousin would like tell me about how he would be in your nightmares and you'd be scared to even dream you know have a nightmare about him he was just one of the scariest monsters that I can still think of like what monster you know kills you while you're sleeping and I just remember when those shoes came out I wanted them so much but there was like no way to get them at the age that I was so that's definitely a shoe even in this lifetime I pray that I get a chance to cop that's just one of those shoes that, that I have a personal attachment to I know everybody has that one shoe um, that they wish that they could have and the Freddy Cougar SBs would definitely be that shoe for me. I love the Freddy Cougar SBs just because it fits Freddy so well. You know, you got that silver Nike check on the side to remind you of his blades, you know what I'm saying? Then you have the blood on like the upper midsole of the shoe that's splattered all around. And of course, his famous stripes all over them. And it's like a really good representation of Freddy Cougar himself. Number three. Now you guys are gonna think I'm a complete hype beast for putting this shoe at number three, but I honestly don't care at number three we're gonna have the off-white vapor max in black with the black tongue and I have to make sure I say the black tongue because there were two that actually were released there was a pair that came out with the white tongue and black bottom there's a pair that came out that was pretty much all black with like an icy bottom and a black tongue and I think that black tongue is just something that I would love you know for the rest of my life I wouldn't I would not care just the the comfort of the vapor max in itself it's a very comfortable shoe it's a shoe that you could throw on with a Nike tech and I went with that all black color with for the off-white just because I usually like black colors and I could see it fitting with any of the Nike tech gear that I already have or that I plan to have in the future It'd be very comfortable and very stylish at the same time so I would definitely have to go with the off-white vapor max black tongue because that icy bottom is just so clean and then this, the, the all black colorway of the Vapor Max itself is just nice and putting Virgil name behind it just makes it so much better honestly at number two I'm gonna say the white cement Jordan 3 1988s are gonna be my number two pick just because I love Jordan 3s um, and out of all the Jordan 3 colorways it was between the black cement 88s and the white ones and I had a pair of white ones I actually sold them I wish I did it I had a pair of white um 88 cement threes and I've been missing them so much that's honestly like my favorite 
colorway for that shoe i i used to think it was the black cement but honestly for the three i would say it's that white just something about that all white colorway with that gray and red it's just so nice with denim it looks so good with denim um it's a nice piece when you have a white shirt um it's still a nice piece if you have a black shirt it just sits really well with most your outfits but having a white pair of jordan threes is very different that red inside of the shoe makes so so much of a difference in how the shoe pops you can't really see the inside of the shoe much but when it sits on your jeans it's a little accent of red coming on the inside of you next to that that blue which makes it look so good like compared to it sitting on the outside right it's just next to that blue red contrast so well and I think that with jeans or with black that red will also contrast very well and it just looks really good on jeans and Jordan 3's are also a shoe that you can wear without jeans you can wear with shorts and for the rest of the shoe you know you still have that cement that elephant print um and then you have that nice white leather throughout the whole shoe you know most things you see in life are going to be like black leather or brown leather but on these white cement jordan threes you have that nice white leather that you rarely ever see you rarely ever see some nice white leather in any situation whether it be a car whether it be a chair just literally any situation you rarely see that white leather now for my number one shoe in this shoe i would say I could throw all the other shoes out and if I was to only choose one shoe I could wear for the rest of my life, it would be the bread ones. I have the shoe now actually, let me show you guys. It's yellowing pretty bad as you guys can see, I hope you guys can see in the light. It's pretty bad, like it's old, um, there's lots of scuffs, I like wore this shoe into the ground, um, it's one of my grails, it's just a clean shoe, like this bread one is just this shoe's never let me down. I've literally worn it with pretty much every single thing I wanted. It could be a white shirt, a black shirt, a gray shirt. It could be any, really almost any color shirt. Um, I can make my pants fit to match as well. The bread one is just like my favorite, my favorite silhouette period. The, just, the Jordan one is just my favorite silhouette in general. You know, the materials that they use in the beginning are very high quality materials that leather throughout the entire shoe. Um, it looks really good. It's one of those shoes that actually end up looking better over time. The more you wrinkle it, the more you, you know, beat it up, it actually starts to gain like its own characteristics. That is my favorite silhouette of a shoe. Um, long after Jordan is gone, I believe that this Jordan one, if it out of any retro that he has, that stays alive this Jordan 1 will still be a staple throughout history definitely overall one of my favorite shoes in any colorway period and of course that beautiful red bottom everybody loves red bottoms you know what I'm saying so with that being said um, those are my top 10 shoes of all time these are the shoes that if I had to pick 10 that I couldn't swap out for the rest of my life and I could only keep wearing them would be of course as more shoes come out and more things happen this list may change Change, but as of now this is my top 10 shoes of all time I hope you guys like this video if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and definitely turn on post notifications so you can see some more of your boy and with that being said you will see your boy later